What is up everybody? I'm going to be showing you how we can use the CJ dropshipping so we can add our own listing, our own products and we can sell that into our online store. So what I want to show you guys is an online store. I'm going to hit into online store here. I'm going to hit into customize. But first of all, I want to look into my products. As you can see, I have this product added automatically here into my store. Here's the title, the description, um, the media the options the variants and i didn't have to do absolutely anything just by just um integrate my cj dropshipping account into shopify and the rest is really really simple so if i hit into collections of the home page and hit into save i just want to show you guys how this one looks into my website so lastly i'm just going to delete the title you want to make sure that you have like a lot of um a lot of tiles here like this, I'm going to hit into minimalistic, fashion, ultra, hit into save, go back into my online store, like this, and here it should be appearing to my items. So how we can do this, how we can have this uh, store created, I mean speaking about just the product, what you want to do in order to do this is to go into your Shopify store into the dashboard. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you don't want to see. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to have your Shopify with paying one dollar, only one dollar uh, for a monthly plan, whether that will be like a basic or startup plan for the next three months. So maybe you want to take advantage of that. So once you are in here, you want to just locate the setting option. You want to locate the apps and sale channel. If you don't find that, if you don't find this, you don't have to worry about that because uh, you can whether choose the Shopify app store or to go directly into the apps. And here into apps, just type the application that you want to look for. I'm going to go into recommended applications. In my case, this CJ dropshipping already appears in here. So you just need to go into add. And uh, what I need to do is just to grant the access from CJ Dropshipping into my store. I'm going to hit into install application. And just like that, it's going to be sending me into the CJ Dropshipping. So we're going to be skipping uh, something, some other step here because as you can see, it says, uh, welcome to CJ. I'm going to choose another account because this one is another account. So uh, hit into sign in. You want to go into... Um, the, the Shopify, which is actually this one. And then what you want to do is to hit into open app. And there we go. So now we are inside the actual CJ dropshipping. So what I need to do, the authorization has been granted automatically. If you go into CJ dropshipping, you can see all the items, all the um, stuff that you can sell into your into your store. So. Uh, speaking about the product dropshipping, the product research, uh, what you can do is to look for the categories and here you want to look for items that you want to sell. Speaking about trending, speaking about um, the winning products. So we do have video products, which I think that this is really accurate to have some video product. So um, I'm going to scroll a little bit down. As you can see, we have super deals, uh, hot selling categories. So let's say, for example, that you want to go into women's clothing. And here into women's clothing, I want to sell something that's kind of trendy here into the CJ drop shipping, or like people are making really, really great drop shipping into the CJ drop shipping. So um, I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look for something that can be accurate for my store. For example, this item, this is a paid uh, pet sofa, dark bed, calming bed. So if you think it's great, I uh, this actually has a video, so I think it's really worthy to try it out. So what you want to do is to choose the option that says add to the QE. And I'm gonna go into QE like that. And here we do have a listing product. So I'm gonna hit into add product once again. Look for the one that best fits for you. Now I've added the so in my case, I think that I'm going to stick around with the one that says the creation created simple recent craft hit into list. If you locate the option that says list, what you want to do is to try to edit this item before listing. So what I want to do here into my store, I want to choose the one that says Shopify, 
you want to charge the taxes. The product type, you want to leave it like that. The bundle and the humans uh, actually appears in there. I want to get into recommended listing price if you don't know uh, what uh, is the main price that you want to list your item. So leave it like that. Here you have the ship my order most to United States and the shipping method is the CJ packet ordinary like that. And then what I want to do is to hit into edit before listing. So with that being said, uh, what I want to do is to change the title. Let's say for, uh, for example, like some uh, minimalistic decoration resin craft like this. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to add the word minimalistic. And here you want to add some text if you want to. Speaking about the description and the images, you don't want to mess around in there because as you can see, the description uh, has a lot of items and has their own um, fields and um, specifications and dimensions. So it's really, really great felt. So I don't want to mess in there. And then what you want to do is to once again, choose your store and hit into listed now. Please select a product to list. In my case, I want to look for the product type. I'm going to hit into add new and I want to add the resin craft. Hit into confirmed like that and hit into list now. So uh, lastly, guys, if this one actually appears into list now, you want to select, of course, all your stuff. So now I just need to wait till the listing is in progress. You may check the listing status on listing and can be managed into listed. So this is just a matter of seconds. I can go into the X mark, hit into my Shopify, and here into Shopify, I want to look for products. And here into products, as you can see, here is my minimalistic decoration resin craft. If I click in here, what I just need to do is to add this into one of my uh, collections in order to see that into my store. So as you can see, it says home page. So if I go back into my online store, I just want to customize my main section so I can see my items has been listed automatically. So as you can see, automatically this has been added successfully. So if I go into view your store, voila, just like that, here is my feature product and here is the starter price and here's the image automatically added. So with that being said, this is how we can get started into CA dropshipping. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. This is the very end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you don't want to see more amazing tools for the GTA dropshipping and more apps from Shopify. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.